So Menzoid has his man cave, and the scrawler has been in the man cave uh, here this week as I fill in for, for David, who's on holidays, for calling it the scrawler's enclave. And Moira McDonald is my guest, longtime Sun columnist, and uh, we've been friends for many, many years. And also, I'm a big reader of your education column, and you know, it's something that when you know you're not a parent, you don't pay a lot of attention to. But when you are a parent, mm -hmm. then you really notice it, and no one covers education better than Moira. Let's start here, Moira, with uh, Toronto District School Board and one of your pet peeves concerning you know the kind of uh, amount of uh, land that they have and the you know the what they should be doing with it. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, um, I've been covering education in the city for, um, boy, what is it, 13, 14 years now. So I've seen the school board over time wrestling with this problem that they have way more space than they have kids. And I've seen them delay and um, have big press conferences and so on. And the problem is still there. Um, I've got a child in the system now and it really annoys me that when I go into a Toronto District School Board school, often the welcome mat is peeling paint and it shouldn't be like that. Um, the kids are worth having decent facilities for and I know that part of the reason why the peeling paint is the welcome mat is because they will not deal um, properly with this problem that they've got far too much space that they're maintaining, so they're stretching their dollars thinner, and um, so then it doesn't, um, it's throwing good money after bad. Well, I want to just, uh, one more thing on education, of course we're pretty hard and Menzoid is the toughest on the Toronto District School Board mm -hmm. as you know, sure. uh, but there seems to be some sort of real wackos in there, like what is that all about, you know, the stuff we write about, the bizarre, uh, you know, the gender bender stuff and sure. different things like that. Do we take that out of context sometimes, or uh, are there, is there something wrong inside that board? Well, I have to say, I mean, in terms of, you know, what a poster looks like, I, you know, there was the example of the, the posters showing, what was it, like uh, three men holding hands yeah. or something like that. I mean, if kids actually notice the posters on the wall, then they're a lot more alert than I would expect them to be. However, it's, it is an issue. I think that there are people within the staff who feel they have a strong agenda to push. Well, However, sex, sex with vegetables? I mean, well, you know. I mean, that was a bad call. That was, and I think the school board has realized that. However, uh, they need to get to the bottom of how anybody thought that that was a reasonable link to put up on their own website. You know what it is today? 41 years ago today, November 1st, 1971, was the very first edition of the Toronto Sun. And for the viewers that don't realize it, Moira's dad, Bob McDonald, one of the legendary reporters, unfortunately he's in the newsroom in the sky, laughing at us right now. <laughs> yeah. He wrote that very first story, the $10 million goof. First of all, uh, you know, obviously you must miss your dad on a day like this, but it also brings back some pretty fond memories of the Toronto Sun and what it was and what it's become. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, <laughs> I, I guess I was uh, four years old at that point, and um, that uh, paper, well, the paper was founded out of the ashes of the Toronto Telegram. Um, basically, my dad and a whole bunch of others uh, were out of jobs, and they needed to make this paper work, for sure, and they invested a lot into it. I What I remember was my you know, Daddy is going to be working at the Toronto Sun, and I equated Sun with Beach, and I thought, oh, he's going to be a lifeguard. Um, <laughs> yeah, he anyway, was. He yeah, was. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody sure. understood liberal politics better than Bob McDonald. Uh, he would have loved uh, this generation now. I mean, I don't know whether it'd be uh, tweeting and things like that, but I think he would have liked this election campaign in the States, and I think he would have liked yeah. to have, he lived long enough to see Stephen Harper elected as Prime Minister, I know that he was a big admirer of, of the Prime Minister. Well, thank you, Moira, for being here in the Man Cave. Uh, it's been a real pleasure to have you, and uh, as I said, I know your dad's smiling from up there in heaven. Yeah, I think Thank so. you, Moira McDonald. Thanks for having me. Uh, please stay with us. More on Menzoid Mornings right after this.